who are members of the union BCGU UAW? The campaign to unionize Boston College. In August 2016, the National Labor Relations Board ruled in a case involving Columbia University that graduate students at private universities are considered employees under the National Labor Relations Act and therefore have the right to collective bargaining. This ruling grants that Boston College graduate workers may now petition the NLRB to hold an election. If a majority of students vote yes, the union will be certified and can take the next steps to negotiating a contract with Boston College. This ruling grants that Boston College graduate workers may now petition the NLRB to hold an election. If a majority of students vote yes, the union will be certified and can take the next steps towards negotiating a contract with Boston College. This ruling overturned the 2004 NLRB decision that revoked the rights of graduate student workers at private universities to unionize. The argument was that by allowing graduate students to unionize, you would be undermining the educational experience, you'd be undermining their relationship with their advisor, you'd be harming the quality of education um, because you're making it an adversarial relationship between an employer and an employee rather than an uh, equal exchange relationship of um, graduate student and your advisor. And part of the goal is to have issues of employment dealt with like issues of employment um, between the student and the university, and it sort of uh, takes your advisor out of the position of being a, a middle person or someone that has to has to deal with stuff like that and you can then have a more purely academic relationship with your advisor like most people want. The students at Columbia and Harvard have joined the UAW as well and so um, we kind of share some of our strategies we talk about you know different projects we're working on and we actually do some collaboration between the different universities um, and Columbia's win in August with the NLRB decision regarding the Columbia case was a huge momentum swing for us. Based on Columbia's petition to unionize, uh, that decision being made in August, now if, uh, if enough people here sign cards saying that they want a union, then Boston College is uh, legally obligated to, to recognize it. And the important thing about this is that it's democratic, it's an organization like by graduate students for graduate students uh, to help us gain power and make the changes that we want to see in the university. For a lot of us uh, in, in the humanities and the social sciences, but also increasingly in the natural sciences, uh, you study longer to get a PhD than, or as long as any profession, except it's for a job that doesn't exist. And it's not because um, there's a lack of demand for teaching. It's a it's, those are political and institutional decisions where universities are acting like corporations and deciding we want to pay as low wages as possible and we're going to do that by shifting our workload onto low paid, uh, you know, low paid employees, whether adjunct professors or graduate students. Uh, and so though it's, not, it's also not a surprise that those two you know, sectors of higher, higher education would be the most interested in, in unions at the moment. So oh, it, it's actually uh, kind of spreading like wildfire in a sense. Uh, many, many campuses are starting to form grad employee unions. The, the purpose behind forming a grad employee union is that there's a very democratic process in which all of the grad employees weigh in on what our employment terms should be. Uh, that we all have some sense of who each other are, uh, are communicating with each other, uh, thus understanding what everyone else's situation is, uh, and you know, then the ways that we can all move towards what is best for all of us. But there's a range of, of, of pay scales and workloads uh, across different schools and sometimes even within departments um, for some people who are in dire situations, who really do need more immediately. With, they, need, they need higher pay, they need, um, they need health care, um, you know, everyone, everyone needs dental insurance. You know. Things such, such as stipends, health care coverage, having things like a parental leave policy, a fair green fence policy, both which are, you know, non-existent or could be improved upon. Um, and I feel that if more people knew um, the conditions of other grad student workers that are struggling um, because of 
you know, disease, you know, about the gaps in our medical insurance or um, just having a hard time making ends meet because they don't have any family support and their stipend is really low. I feel that people would really um, relate to that and maybe would be more um, more likely to join the efforts and help out. So if you're coming from an underprivileged background, then it's really important that the grad program pay you well and offer you uh, good benefits so that you can be self-sufficient while getting that advanced degree. So if we don't have really strong um, like living wage focused support structures for employment of employment terms when for people getting advanced degrees uh, then it be, advanced degrees become a thing of the privileged and aren't accessible to the less privileged people. All different departments have different um, kind of typical levels of funding for for that type of work. I'm very shocked by the inequality that there is in stipend and opportunities um, for Link School students compared to other graduate student workers um, and I feel like we should at least be at the same level with others. If uh, ensure that everyone is being ta well taken care of. Um, if you look at their department compared to the similar departments across the country that, that they're being you know, paid well, that they have secure benefits, uh, that their lifestyle is one in terms of like healthcare, dental, um, and what have you, the ability to raise a family, uh, that all of those things are, are accessible to them. The big misconception that needs to be made clear right up front about the union and about unionizing is that it's not just about getting a raise. What it's about is about power. Um, and it's about making sure that we have power to deal with the administration as equals, that we can assert ourselves as graduate students as a group, um, and that we can make sure that the issues that are important to us get addressed. See, with the union, we get to collectively bargain a contract with the administration, and this means that we get to work with them to create, you know, and draft policies that impact our workplace environment, um, and having a say in these decisions is a huge step up from right now where we have no say. Mm, so I guess in general it would be to give students more voice to negotiate the conditions under which we work. At the end of the day, they don't have much. Um, they don't have much leverage. They 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 can go through all the right channels. They can you know do what they're asked to. They can sort of play ball with the university, um, and still find that it's entirely up to the administration whether or not they choose to choose to to act on it or do anything about it. By all of these campuses across the country forming these uh, employee unions where they're now engaged in a community locally on their campus uh, and then as we get to connect to each other too uh, that's really building a lot of grassroots power a large voting block of people to engage politically and make sure. But beyond the contract we do hope to be you know a resource for graduate student workers um, from you know doing workshops on the rights of international students or you know how do you get an H-1B visa to other things like working towards more diversity and inclusion at Boston College. But additionally things that like I talked with you know with the GPA is like alternative bathrooms, expanding a non-discrimination clause, getting these secured in a contract, um, the science march, other things like you know if there is something with a first amendment. Um, we're joining the UAW, there's an international uh, group of local labor unions that are a part of the UAW and because that includes a lot of academic workers they actively go to Congress and lobby for better STEM funding, for better optional practical training, OPT, for international students with Trump being recently elected and showing in his uh, his funding priorities uh, many of his statements that science funding is not important to him. Uh, I think it's really great that we can be starting to create this big uh, push to, to kind of counteract that. Those are the sorts of things that we can make sure get dealt with because we will have power as a group and we can speak to the administration and make ourselves heard. Solidarity in, in is being a community with other, other workers and their struggles or your struggles and your, um, you can sort of have the courage to 
stand up for each other because you know that those people will also be there to stand up for you if it was if being a part of the union is I didn't really understand when I started that it was about building a community um, process um, it was a process of making friends of, of having a reason to you know be in every building at DC to talk to people in every department to learn how things are done um, what kind of radically different experience uh, grad civil grad students have in, in other departments uh, and really to meet to meet people that I never would have met otherwise it's been really exciting actually to get to know so many people from different departments uh, I'm in physics and before I started working on this I knew very few people even in the other sciences and certainly not in the humanities. Yeah, I was able to start meeting other students from other schools and other departments, which was not happening prior to this effort. And so I think that's one of the things that has kept me in this movement is that I've been able to meet so many other great students and you know the amount of overlap between our areas of research is actually quite surprising. So it's really nice to get to see other people at this university and kind of come together and create more of a sense of community um, I don't think I had ever, I had met any person out who didn't go to Lynch until um, I went to this meeting, and I'm not saying about you know just like um, knowing someone and like saying hi or whatever, but like actually meeting someone, knowing their name and like um, who they are, and um, that's really important. And knowing that we share a lot of the same struggles because mm -hmm. getting through a PhD is uh, pretty ridiculous, and you want to have a good support group and. I was just astounded by how we're all facing kind of the same problems and uh, we're just trying to get a fair deal while we get through it. So um, it's definitely brought people together. It's actually been helpful for research because my physics research is pretty related to chemistry and biology uh, and its applications and through organizing I'm also building professional connections that I think will be really useful down the road, uh, I'll be talking to some chemist about something in the campaign, and we also get to talk about uh, what our research is, and then that will lead to conversations about where our research might uh, cross paths and we can learn from each other. So uh, it's been a really interesting experience in that way. That was given back, but Trump is probably going to stack that board and we're probably going to lose it again at some point. So the point is, we have a window to get this done, and we need to get it done now because there's probably not going to be another chance. Everyone to know about it. We want everyone to know uh, the arguments for why we should have one, what it can do for them, uh, no matter what their uh, no matter what their particular interests might be. Uh, even if their interests are just uh, securing something that they're already happy with uh, in a in a contract. Um, We're waiting on a date for from the board, so. We're hoping that it'll happen before the semester is over, but, you know. <laughs>